Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. We have a um a Ranger RCI 6900F25 here, and uh, it is needing some repairing. Just to show you, it does power on. the uh, The meter here does not uh, does not seem to be working. Okay. And here's the major issue with this radio. Okay. If you notice, I got the band turned all the way down. It's on 28.55. If I turn up, it goes up a band. Turn up again, it appears to go up another band. Turn up one more time, it goes back down to 28. Up again. It goes up from there, it appears, and it goes up again from there. Okay. If I go up here and put it on low, you see it goes down to 25 megahertz. Up, it appears to go up properly. Up again. And it does the same thing with the middle band here. It goes back down. Okay, and of course, you know, I know that might not be a big problem with some people that isn't going to be using multiple bands like that. Um, you know, if, uh, and of course, you can pretty much see it appear. It appears that this unit is not has not been converted from what I'm seeing. Um, but I can't say 100% if it has been converted and this is just an issue and the frequency has changed. I'm not sure. But, uh, if the unit has not been converted and, uh, you do convert the unit, then that might not be an issue to somebody. Because, um, usually if you're on, you know, the regular band, you can go up a band like if you're on a regular, you know, 11 meter 1 through 40 uh, band A there and you go up a band, you can, you know, still hit triple nickel and all that good stuff. And, and you know, most of the uh, 11 meter operators don't even go up higher than that usually. So, you know, like I said, if that is the case, then, you know, at that point, about the only major problem to that Pacific operator might just be that the meter doesn't work, okay? All right, the transmit power appears to work on this end. I'm just going by what I'm seeing on the meter here. Um, I will demonstrate that now. Okay, and also it changes in between sideband, just in the uh, upper, upper sideband is fine. Okay, the internal speaker, that's another thing, the internal speaker doesn't appear to be working. I have the external speaker hooked up right here. Whenever I unplug the external speaker, I'm not hearing anything out of the internal speaker. The internal speaker could just have went bad, I don't, I'm not, I don't know. I'm basically just mostly pointing out what's, what I'm seeing wrong with the radio, and uh, pretty much other than that, Anything I'm showing that's wrong with it, everything else should work properly, but I can't guarantee everything 100% because I don't know the history of the radio. I've just received it as you see it here. All right. Just to show the transmit here, we're on the uh, 100 watt slug here. We're in PEP mode, okay? All right, let's go turn it. To AM. Seems to have about a, I don't know, maybe a two watt dead key or something like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So it looks like it's transmitting about 25 watts. Let's turn that up. Uh, Let's see, let me try, try something here. Audio. 
think this thing might have a talk back. Let me see. Uh, it's it's kind of looks kind of the same. Uh, some of the thing uh, the controls here are pretty similar to a 158 EDX, which I have myself. Yeah, it does get a top back. Let's see if the top back works. Yeah, it does. Audio test. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Audio test. All right, Roger beep works. If you can hear that, just a quick beep. Um, let's see here. Uh. says echo don't it? Let me bring this up just a little bit here. I'm just trying to see if there's an echo control on here. Because it does say echo. So you got mic gain, RF gain, talk back. Looks like you got a talk back volume possibly. Huh, I don't know. Maybe the echo is an internal controlled echo. It's possible. Let's see here. Let's try this. Oh yeah. Audio chat chat. Yeah, that talk back is very loud. Audio test. Audio. Audio. Audio testing. Gatekeeper got down. Yeah, I guess the uh turn that talk back back off. I'm guessing the uh echo is internally set. Um I'm guessing. Um, I, don't hold me to that 100%, but that is, it's just a guess. Okay, I'm going to turn on the sideband just so you can see that. Transmitting on sideband. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, it doesn't seem to be transmitting as much on sideband. Let's go to the upper sideband. Oh, yeah. Turn that PDP button off just real quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it appears that it's not swinging as much on the side band. I don't really know why. I'm just kind of showing y'all everything. I don't know. Maybe if it needs to be uh, retuned on side band or what. I have no idea. All right, we're going to go from LSB, USB, AM to FM. Let you see a constant FM audio. Alrighty. Well, there we go. I think that pretty much uh, uh, does it there. I will uh, include a picture of the inside here. So, uh, this is a unit that does need a little bit of repairing done to it. So, uh, be good for a, a do it yourself or, or a good tech out there. So, enjoy. And, I, and uh, I do want to add, this does not come with a microphone. And let's turn this off. Turn this off. It does not come with a power cord. Okay. And let me go ahead and show you this in the video. I'm using my power cord for my 158 EDX. Which is a unique power cord, which I only have one of. Or I would offer, as you can see there. I'm still going to get this thing took off here. Hold on one second. All right. All right. Now, as you can see, it is written on there, positive and negative. Okay, so you'll just have to uh, buy you one of these cords, uh, mo a Molex type cord. Like I said, this is for my EDX ray. <laughs> or, you know, if you're a tech or something, you can get in there and just hardwire you some wires in the back. I've seen quite a few people do that. Radios like this. 
and uh, so it just comes with the uh, bare bone unit no microphone no nothing like that I usually don't supply microphones with units that needs to be repaired and uh, even some units that do work properly sometimes I still don't supply mics if I don't have extra ones handy so there she be off the eBay she goes